sorry that this video has taken so long to put together. Um, I've been very busy, lots of things, had a baby, etc. So um, I'm very sorry about that. But uh, here I am, and I'm going to go through the process of buying my boat from Alibaba, um, right through from the idea um, through to delivery. Um, and then if you see my other videos, you can see it actually being delivered um, and, uh, and a quick walk around the boat as well. So I initially started, as I mentioned in my previous video, just looking at sort of cheaper boats um, and on eBay. And then I just sort of stumbled across Alibaba and saw that you could get a boat on there for what seemed like a price that was far too good to be true. From memory, um, the kind of price for the 4.8 metre boat uh, was $3,000, I think, from memory. I then contacted uh, a number of suppliers, wanted to find out firstly a little bit from them as to whether it was a real deal or not, and find out a little bit more about options and, and also about shipping, which was the was one of my biggest concerns, is how was I gonna get this boat from China to the UK? After speaking to a couple of suppliers, I settled on, um, and I've got a note of it here, the Qingdao Yacht Industry and Trade Co Limited. So I spoke to them, I spoke to someone called Claire there, Claire Claire, uh, and she talked me through uh, the process, um, which was, she sent me over an options sheet, so I got to choose the color of the, the boat, I got to choose um, the teak flooring, which was an option uh, for me, um, I got to choose the material that the boat is made out of and then there were some other options as well things like uh, the, the radio arch at the back I ordered a cover for the boat a, a battery with battery box so all of these options are on top of the the basic three thousand dollar list price for the boat as you can see all the prices are fairly reasonable for uh, for the options that you can get so then it comes to uh, the delivery stage now delivery was arranged through uh, Claire Claire um, through the supplier uh, they quoted delivery date time of about 30 days. Uh, in reality, it was a little bit longer than that, but I wasn't too concerned by that uh, at all. Everything seemed to be going quite well. They sent me some pictures of the boat while it was being built. Um, I think all in all, it took about 35, 40 days to have the boat built from the point of order to when it left the factory. Um, so in terms of shipping, they quoted $650 for the shipping. That seemed too good to be true. Um, so I was expecting some kind of additional cost somewhere else. There's obviously import duty um, and VAT to pay in your country uh, of residence as well. Um, I won't go into that in too much detail because that really just depends um, where, where you live in the world. So $650 is what I paid to the supplier. Um, I then did some research on it. This was actually after I placed the order. And it turned out that in addition to the shipping costs, you also have um, arrival fees for the port. Um, so I contacted um, Claire, who gave me a list of arrival fees, um, and the total for those uh, wasn't too much. I think, I think I worked it out to be a few hundred dollars, something like that, and so I was quite happy with that. I then followed the ship across the world on ShipFinder, uh, which was kind of exciting, right through until when the ship arrived uh, at my port and I went to go and meet the ship and it was coming in. I, I uh, stood on the, on, the, on, the, on, the, um, on the beach and watched the ship coming in, which was kind of cool. And that's when I found out about the additional costs uh, and how much higher they were actually than the few hundred dollars that I'd been expecting. Arrival fees that had been quoted were per meter cubic meter um, and the container, or the, the space taken in the container by my box was about 10 cubic meters. Looking into options on shipping, I could see that there was the option of either a full container load, so the boat would have had its own dedicated 20 foot container, or it could share a container with lots of other goods, um, and that is the option that the manufacturer was offering me. So my box was 10 meters squared. So actually the arrival fees uh, were, were nearer 1,300 pounds, so much higher than I'd anticipated. Um, but it was still it was still kind of okay, given that the, the boat was still so cheap. Um, I had expected there to be a hidden cost somewhere, so now you're aware that's where it will come up. So the total cost of the boat was the boat itself, the options, the shipping, and the arrival fees. 
On top of that, there was also the VAT and import duty, which you'd need to get a quote for yourself from a local shipping agent. Paying Alibaba, I paid by credit card. I paid using the Alibaba Trade Assurance Program. Um, I kind of thought that by paying firstly by credit cards, if the goods didn't turn up or were wildly different from what was described, I may have some kind of comeback through the credit card company. Um, and then the Alibaba Trade Assurance Program enables you to confirm once you've received delivery and I think they then possibly release the funds to, or the bulk of the funds to the supplier at that point. Once I've made the decision to buy the boat, I then paid a 30% deposit and the balance was to be paid prior to dispatch from the factory. I will try to be a bit better with the comments uh, and try and come back to anyone who's got any specific questions about the process. In the coming months, I will try and get another video out of some footage of the boat just out on the water a little bit more. Um, I've been out on it loads of, loads of places now. I've been out on it on the Thames, I've been out on it on the coast, um, and it's absolutely brilliant. So uh, if you're really thinking about this seriously, um, then I would highly recommend that you do it. If you've hit subscribe, then you can see if you're interested in watching any of the other videos of me taking the boat out along the coast or along the Thames or whatever, then you'll get notifications of those when I eventually get around to making the next video. Thanks for watching.